time before Facebook, World of Warcraft and massive multiplayer online RPGs that once existed simply in a game. Forged in the hands of nerds, crafted in the minds of geeks, and so advanced as advancing us, it would take the entire second edition to take all its might to keep through. And here, in the land of Ohio, in the year of 1995, one of the most uncommon types of geeks walked the earth. A dungeon master, without fear, prejudice, or a penis. <laughs> this nerd is a girl nerd, the rarest form of nerd in the world, and her name was Tilly Evans. Because, you know, I'm um, big red cats. Huh. It's in my brain! Oh. Not as in fat. Seriously, it has nothing to do with body mass index. I'm actually in pretty good shape. My mom's got a home gym now. I've been pumping the Yeah, ice. I get it. Oh, so, what do you need? Oh, I have this thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. Well, let me check it, check it out. Wait, be careful. It's not mine. You know, you're not exactly what I was expecting. Huh? Oh, were you expecting some nerd? Because I'm no nerd. I'm a straight up lady killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a girlfriend. She's not from around here, though. She lives up in New York, and you know what they say about them New York honeys, huh? Them girlies are cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to New York? No, but you have a girlfriend? Well, yeah. 
I met her on a little thing I like to call the internet. You've been on the internet, right? Yeah, we have it at work. Oh, seriously, you gotta get it hooked up at home. I got a crazy fast connection in my dick, so I'm talking like 56 kilobits per second. Yeah, I'm good. So about the notebook. Oh, right. Well, clearly this is a homespun module. What's that? Well, it's like a map for a D and D game, an adventure, and this one looks like it is written for one to two players with entry level skills, character. Tilly is the paladin. Was this written by Tilly Evans? You knew her? You're kidding, right? Every player here in Athens has been on a campaign with her. How'd she get a hold of this? She's my sister. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, so can you help me figure out what it all no, means? Yeah, of course, but look, I should probably tell you something up front now that I know who you are. Nothing can happen between us, okay? <laughs> I, know, I know you were vibing me when we first met, but... Now that I know who you are, I just think you will be disrespectful. Okay. Plus you're like wicked old, so it'd be kind of creepy. All right. So if you're cool with that, yeah, I'm cool. then I can help you. So, what do you want to do with the module? Well, Chuck, I want to play it. It's a lot. Yeah. Wait, so this is exactly yeah, how? exactly how she left it. Your sister was a slob. She was a 15-year-old. Yeah, she was a 15-year-old slob. How do you even begin with all this? Man, your sister was into some really geeky shit. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want any help? Because you know I'm strong, right? Like bull. You're also clumsy <laughs> like ass. I'm not clumsy. <laughs> should I remind you of my former coffee table? It was faulty design. Look, babe, thanks for the help, but you should go. Are you I'm sure? I'm positive. All right, then. I'll go move some of your boxes over to our apartment. Yeah, sounds good. Just don't drop anything. I love you. I love you, too. Wait, can I just get go. one more? Go. Go. Sorry about that. Are you still there? Chuck? Greetings, adventurer! I am Chuck Bates, also known as DM Bates, and I will be your dungeon master. You mean my what? Stitch! Okay. And before you is a game, a game like no other, one created to test your mind, your cunning, and your badassness. There's also tips and soda for your snacking enjoyment, but lay out the Twizzlers thereby. Are you ready? I guess. Then imagine, if you will, this city. You stand on the sands of a mystical beachside. To one side of you stretches an endless ocean. On the other is an ominous dark forest. And from the distance, a hooded stranger approaches. Okay, so do I fight it? Well, not yet. <laughs> you said a hooded stranger approaches. If I had a stranger approach me in real life, I'd mace them. You don't have me. So what do I do? Just chill. I'm still giving you your given circumstances. Sorry. So anyway, you're on the beach with the forest to your right and the ocean to your left, and then... Welcome to Newlandia, stranger. I am... Tilly? Tilly, yes, actually. The paladin. You're in this game? Of course I am. I made it up, didn't I? Tilly, this is a D&D adventure, not therapy. <laughs> so, you sure you want to do this? Well, I do, but I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Of course you don't. You're a new. I know, but I want to get this right. I want to make sure it's for you, right by you, and... Right. This isn't therapy. Well, big sis, if you really want to play, then let's play. But first, you're going to have to meet the rest of the party. What party? Every adventurer has a party. This one's ours. Cue the intro music. Go! First up, Lilith Morningstar, Class D. What in the bad word is she wearing? She acts as our squad's muscle. Whenever you're surrounded by an armada of opens, she's the one you want who can steal. She is the perfect. Beauty and brawn. Violence makes me hot. <laughs> Next up, Calliope Darkwalker. Class Dark. Uh, okay, that's seriously what she looks like. I'm not 
no pointy-eared creature has ever brought me so much lady hotness. I'm in the mood for danger. And then, <laughs> there's... Boss! Chuck? Yeah, what's up? What is this? This is your party. My party is a leather-clad dominatrix <laughs> and an <laughs> urban <laughs> supermodel. <laughs> well, don't look at me. Your sister wrote this. Well, then how come it screams adolescent boy? Seriously? And violence makes me hot. <laughs> amount of improv involved, but I swear <laughs> this is basically the gist of what Tilly put. This? Yeah, this. My sister wrote this. You want to play the game or not? Fine, whatever. And then? There's me. I'm the brains of this operation. Named Tilly Evans, a.k.a. Tilly of the Paladin, healer of wounded and defender of life. Class awesome! Find and free the lost soul before it's devoured by the dark forces of darkness forever. Oh my God, this is so true. And so, I'm 
Lystia sat at Antilius the paladin, ventured forth into the dark dwellings of the truly evil and quite large in stature, Orcus, the overlord of the underworld, in search of the lost soul of Athens. But what they found deep in that cave was not what they prepared for in the least.
less weird when I fought your fucking high schooler. <laughs> You're like the worst high school guidance counselor ever. No, I am not. Miss Martin! Miss Martin! No! Miss Martin? Are you dropping out of class? No. Then you're fine. Come back later, I'm busy. Thank you! <laughs> and that is why they don't let you teach in the UK anymore. <laughs> Miles think about this Dungeons and Dragons. You really don't like him, do you? Come on. We've been together for what? Five years. Five years? And all he's done is ask us to move in with him. Please. Kid out. Trinary. Alright, Slack, yeah. That's because deep down you know he's a bit of a wanker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll change subjects. So what's up with this game? Some sort of door to quarter life crisis? Look, I know it's stupid, but I'm just curious as to why Tilly liked it so much. And? And it's actually kind of mundane. I don't really see the appeal. All we've done so far is walk around and talk to things. I, mean, I thought there were supposed to be monsters in this game. Mira? Mira! Crap, what the heck is happening? Three bugbears around here. Three what? Three bugbears. What the heck is a bugbear? What bug do you do? What do I do? I don't even know what a bugbear is. Like, bugs? Are they bears? Examine the bugbears. <laughs> They're neither bugs nor bears. So, this game is mundane, huh? All we do is talk and walk. I didn't realize you suddenly jump out at us. The first bugbear strikes. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Wait, don't I get a turn? You just wasted your turn examining the bugbear. Which they appreciate. Bugbears aren't used to getting such attention. The second bugbear strikes. Get over that dice! Ow! You've been damaged. No. Really? What do you do? Well, I fight back. My character does the same. Critical hit, Tilly is easily slays one bugbear. You, however, oh, swing and miss. <laughs> Look at those things, how do I miss that? The bugbear strikes again. Oh, no, wait. What can we think? You take a turn to think. No, I don't. The other bugbear strikes. Oh, God. Huge damage, Agnes is down. <laughs> <laughs> Spell to restore Agnes's hit points. You get back on your feet. We stand side by side and raise our weapons. And this is what happens next. Oh, make me Fire, cold, acid, poison. 
poison and lightning. Many adventurers have fought her. All have died. All except one. You fought that? Yes. That's useless. I didn't pull off killing her, and now she's taken my soul for revenge. And you just gave her soul away? I should rip out your insides right now and die in the middle. All the girls died just for doing what he gave me! Oh, man! Don't I know you? What? No. You must be mistaken no, for somebody else. No, no, I know who you are. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, me and you, we went to the same evil underworld. I don't think your daddy's going to be too fond of you making time for a human and a paladin. Who's her dad? The devil. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, please don't tell him, okay? He'll kill me. Wow, suddenly you don't seem so tough. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, he doesn't have any love for me either. You see what he's saving me? Focus. Yeah. <laughs> tell us the location of the Tiamat. Now! Fine, fine. Uh, uh, go, go, Orcus map. <laughs> Behold my comically large map of New Lantia. Ah, this is the path you will have to take if you want to face the Tiamat. First, you must travel down the river of wetness to the swamps of Mushi. Yeah, the name of these locations suck. <laughs> I was going to go back and change them later, but, you know, I sort of died before I could get to it. Sorry. Then you must climb the mountain of steepness to the castle of evil to face the Tiamat. But before you do, you must first face and defeat all three of its guardians, man. The big bosses of Newlandia, and each one of them is Totally badass. So, most likely one of you, if not all of you, are gonna die before you even get the chance to get there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you gotta do that. <laughs> oh, or we can go back to my cave and rock some Thursday night and must see TV. Who's feeding me? <laughs> Seriously, none of you guys are into the ER? Dude, that Clooney can be slamming, y'all. <laughs> My friends, I cannot ask you all to join me on this quest. The journey ahead is too perilous, and the prize too personal for me to expect you to risk your lives. I'm just one warrior, and you all have so much ahead of you. Please, if you do not wish to continue, you have my blessing to stay right here. You know, as always, you've got my book and mine. <laughs> <laughs>
be an apt description. Fight the Tiamat! Vanquish the dragon! And save my soul! Yeah! <laughs> so be cool. Yeah! If you even said that, I would have just killed it! Straight away! Instead of wasting my breath talking to you! Say what? I'm one of the great guardians! Matron! <laughs> but she is but weak!
I saw her you want to Whoa, 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 why, why, why? Because she's my girlfriend. No, man, it ain't like that. We just role playing. She, she was hot. <laughs> Look, dude, I got no feelings for her. I mean, it was pretty clear she was vibing me and all when we first met, but I set the ground rules straight. There's no long-term commitments. This is just for fun. I'm just here to help her play out this fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break her neck, you son of a bitch! Hey,
Kenobi run. Go. Not so fast there, nerd. Hey, guys. What's up? Were you just looking at me? No, no. Well, not specifically. I, I was just looking in your general direction, and you walked into my line of being. I think she's lying. I hate liars. I'm not lying. What are you doing? <laughs> Let her go. I think the reason that she's lying, evil Tina, is because she has the hots for you. That is not true. Are you saying I'm ugly? <gasps> <laughs> no. no. So then you think I'm pretty. Um, uh, I don't understand. Uh, I don't speak. Uh, oh. I don't speak. Ah, uh, either. <laughs> I do. I do. I think you're very pretty. I mean, you're so pretty. and papers and sorts, so don't say I'm sorting. Is there a student here? What gave it away? Uh, I teach English 3. Oh, I know who you are. One of my friends got you, but I got Miss Gates, though. Still eating your ashes of rice? Yes, they don't mind the smell of patchouli all the time. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. She could sing to our teacher's lounge faster than Coach Franklin. Seven's the best. Thanks. I love her. <coughs> you did? We all did. Sorry, I didn't quite catch your name. Oh, I'm Lily. Your name's Lily? Yeah. Lily is in Lilith. I actually spoke for Elizabeth. So this was real. What was real? You and Tilly, you two were real. I'm not following. But you two dated. What? No. You can tell me. Look, Miss Evans, I didn't say silly. I like boys, I swear. No, of course, this explains so much. Of course you two were together. No, we weren't. You to hide it. I know. Tell me. Hey. This is Tilly's girlfriend. Lily, won't you take my keys and go grab me a cuppa, okay? Thank you. Toodaloo. Have this. What are you doing? That was Tilly's girlfriend. Okay. One, I don't think so. Two, even if she was, having a teacher yell out, you're a 
girl who's been dating a member of the Athens High football team for over a year. Maybe if she's in the planet, she's in there deep. By the way, the real one? Yeah? Yeah. She's straight, isn't she? I don't know. It must have been hard. I guess. Lily, you can talk to me. <coughs> I'm not really her, you know? What? I'm not her. Chuck? Look, Agnes, I can only extrapolate so much, and this is starting to feel a bit flat. I was talking to my sister, do you mind? Look, Agnes, I'm all for role playing, but this is a little bit deeper than I usually get. Play the role, Chuck. But Agnes. Play it! Okay. Look, Agnes, there's something in here I think you should do. Do it in character. Agnes. Do it! Agnes, Agnes can, can you, you do, do me a favor? favor? What? I wrote something for Lily in here. Could you give it to her? What is this? It's for her. <laughs> on me with a high school student. I was talking to Stephen. Stephen, how can I help? Well, I was thinking about dropping out of the marching band, but scared it might affect my college application, since it's really my only extracurricular activity. Kid, that shit doesn't matter. Miles. But you know what does matter? When your girlfriend is trying to hook up with a high school student. Miles, have some perspective here. Can you see how this is an inappropriate conversation to be having in front of a student? I agree. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, what do I do? Break up with her. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Be honest with me, Miles. You've been together with her for what? Five years? And you've only just asked her to move in with you? You're clearly not that committed to her, are you? That's not true. Stephen! If you were dating Miss Evans for five years, what do you think the next logical step would be? Miss Evans? Well, I mean, she is really pretty. Yo! What is up with high school kids always digging on my girlfriend? I don't dig! I just acknowledge! What would you do, Stephen? I guess I'd ask her to marry me! Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Who even asked you? <sighs> Miss Martin did! <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyways because she's cheating on me. Miles, she's not cheating on you. I met him. She admitted it. He's her secret friend. Yeah, I know. You, you know? He's her dungeon master. He, he <laughs> actually turned into a dungeon? Get us go, no! He's a D and D dog. He's the guy that rolls the dice and shit. Actually, in typical D twenty role playing scheme, the role player also rolls the dice. <laughs> Just do it! Miss Evans plays D and D. Wow, cool! Kid, don't even think about it. Um, so about my conundrum. What conundrum? About the marching band. Oh yeah, that shit don't matter. <laughs> Get back to class. <sighs> Thank you. You really suck at being a teacher. And you really suck at being a boyfriend. And I think you both suck. <laughs> What's wrong? 
the droop of your shoulders and your downward gaze, it would indicate you were troubled somehow. Wow, observant. Was that sarcasm? No. My apologies. We elves may heighten speed, agility, strength, and attractiveness. They're also humble to boot. But we're lacking in emotional awareness. So what? You're like a robot or something? No, we're elves. We're above emotions. That's a human trait. Call me envious right about now. What troubles you, Agnes the Ass Hatter? <laughs> I came on this adventure to get to know my sister to help her, but as it turns out, she doesn't even need my help at all. Well, I don't think she needs help from most people. She is a 20th level paladin after all. If anything, we travel with her, for we often require her assistance. Wow, Elf, you're really bad at giving advice. My apologies. Would you like to copulate with me now? <laughs> Copulate, fornicate, consensual intimate stimulus, fucking. I hear you humans like to do such things. I think it might help. Shut up, I'm not having sex with the elf girl. What? I don't want to see you get sexy with the sexy elf girl. Why would I want to see that? <laughs> Gross, man. Hot girl on hot girl action. I mean, your sister must have wrote it. It's so gay and I'm so straight. Uh, you done? What are you doing? Nothing. Shut up. Fine. <laughs> Be back with your party who are at the foot of the mountain of steepness, but before you can go on, you spy something ahead of you. It's big, it's cube shaped, and it's gelatinous. You, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That, my dear human friend, is box number two Miles the Gelatinous Cube. What? <laughs>
Boss fight number two, Agnes versus Miles the Doppelganger. Kind of. You playing Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we weren't having 
I'm not big. Maybe you're just small. Small guy? You uh, want nothing. <laughs> Are you mad at me? I'm not happy. Seems fair. But you're not mad at me, right? Keep asking that question, I'm going to see. Look, I came by because I thought maybe we can go back to our apartment and, you know, start unpacking some boxes. They're not finished unpacking Tilly's room yet. No. What I'm saying is maybe we can go back to our apartment and, you know, start unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> I have some suspected things that I think you may like. Like what? I think it's implying sex. Thank you, John. <laughs> that unpacking analogy is really confusing, man. I'm busy, Miles. You were just playing a game. It's more than that. Can we not just wait for one night? No. Well, how about Friday? Can we hang out on Friday? I don't know. I thought you said you weren't mad I'm at me. I'm not. I'm just focused on this right now. Baby, come on. I'm not uh, hey, you want to play? Did you say what? Yeah, I mean, you said you want to hang out, so let's hang. You can't do much worse than Agnes over here, right? She sucks. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> want to play. Actually, I would. I would like to play, Chuck. What are you doing? This is important to you, and I want to be a part of it. Yeah, but it's private, though. I know, but you never talk to me about Tilly, or your parents, or any of it. I just, this can help me get to know you better. I want to try, please. Are you for real? I am. Fine. Call him a character sheet. Agnes, watch out! Boss number two! No, it's okay! Keep that thing's that hard to kill that I give up now, man. This isn't boss number two, this is Miles. The real Miles, my boyfriend. What is he doing here? He wanted to come. We already have five people on our farm. He wanted to get to know your us better. But it's not really the same thing now, is it? Hey, about time to get some testosterone in this estrogen party, man. <laughs> Orcus, resident horny dude. <laughs> So this is done to the dark <laughs> I mean, you can't be serious. Look, I know you don't like him, but at least I know he has my back. We have your back. Why? Just like the last time you made me kill my boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, you killed me? No, I just killed a big fat green flop that looked like you. <laughs> I, I, I look like a big fat flop. <laughs> If you were in trouble, we would have stepped in. Assuredly. I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, not helping. So what's the next boss we have to fight? The next boss is a beholder. Oh my god, that's actually kind of cute. Isn't like beauty, isn't the eye? Oh, absolutely not. That's the only thing to do. Hey, you hey no you guys. Before. Whatever it is, it's fine. I'm here now.
bloody man. <laughs> you two are going to be joining her about two seconds. Prepare to be ushered to your deaths. You can't hope to beat us! We are way too powerful for you! You said we're going to do it with our fists. There's only one way to beat a succubus. We challenge you to a dance battle. <laughs> Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. My, 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 my touch this. music hits me so hard. Makes me say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me. Well, I'm all too right and too bad. Well, it's good when you know you're down. I'll see you don't hold away from the old town. And I'm known as such. I rolled the dice that says she died. 
Screw the dice, just bring her back. I can't. Not for this adventure, Agnes. There's rules. What rules? You're the DM. You make the rules. <laughs> no, I don't. TSR makes the rules. Well, that was TSR. <laughs> They're the ones who made the game. <laughs> I don't care what you have to do, Chuck. Just bring her back. Now. Hey. She's <laughs> Jacob Weaver. <laughs> Sorry. No. Wrong fucking answer! Agnes! Stop! Go away! They're right, you know? Shut up! It's just a game! I was getting to know you. I was just starting to get to I know care. you. My character's not dead! But you are! Agnes! Chuck, I'm done. What? Agnes! Thank you so much for indulging me. I'll call you if I change my mind, but I'm done talking to ghosts. Agnes, I mean, Miss Evans, can I talk to you for a moment? What do you want, Chef? I just wanted to return this to you. Thanks. I was also wondering if maybe you were free this afternoon? You asking me out on a date? I could do that. Shoot being <laughs> someone's date? What do you want, Chef? I just wanted to show you something. It's something of Tilly's. Where is this? This is a friend's house. What's up? <laughs> Actually, this is Ronnie. Hey, older girl of my house, sweetie. I just wanted you to meet some of Tilly's friends. Ronnie, this is what I was talking to you about. Wait, you're Tilly's sister? You're a total hottie, man. Uh, dude. <laughs> Outside boys. My bad, sorry, I'm just saying things out loud. I'm just keeping my head again, right? So is your sister around? Yeah, sure, let me go get her. You guys can come in if you want. Hey, just don't touch the TV, okay? I'm recording Dawson's Creek, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do much to make them different. It's the exact same, except not red and straight. And this is a picture of his sister. Calliope? Kelly, actually. She actually brought her in real life? Yep. So, what are you trying to show me here? That my sister was really good at drawing up her friends? Not exactly. Hey, Chuck, what's up? Hey, hot stuff. <laughs> hey! <laughs> This is Tilly's sister. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh my god. Is there something on my shoes? Oh god, no, Chuck. I wasn't meaning to look. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just teasing. I'm used to it. Don't worry. So 
Oh, I just played D&D with these guys? Yeah, well, my little brother's always been into it, but it was actually your kid's sister that convinced me to give it a shot. I know it's dorky, right? Yeah, I guess. Your sister was awesome. and saving the world and, and having magic and well yeah maybe some small part of it is about wish fulfillment and Kelly gets to walk again Ronnie gets to be super strong what about you I don't know, it wasn't addressed to me. Do you want it? Oh, <laughs> 
Chuck. Final fight. Agnes versus Tiamat. Join her on many quests. Alongside Chuck the Big Brains and 
and to his old group of friends, Ronnie the Slacker, Kelly the Not So Good Legend, <laughs> and Lily the Publisher. Tilly? Agnes would get married, and the world would embrace moments, not as outsiders, but as awesome. Agnes moved out of that old home, and brought the many memories of Agnes' life with her. And this? Don't 